Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Axiom Verge 2. We are here in the breach side of the Giguna Steps, which last time I just completely... Uh, I don't know... Rushed through. Well, I didn't rush, but I just went in a direction and there were so many... So many paths, I feel, uh, like that I didn't or couldn't explore along the way. It's crazy. Um, I hope I'll just finish whatever I'm doing here. Um, which might be finding some sort of jump or climbing upgrade for the drone because we cannot actually return the way we came. So either we find an exit or we find something that allows us to explore more of this. Uh, but yeah, um, kind of hope that I'll just be able to basically make my way back down the mountain here, <laughs> back down to this camp, which I, where I never even entered the building I was supposed to enter. Yeah, because I, there are yeah, just plenty of things that I feel like I could have explored a bit more. In, in a bit more detail. Anyway, let's continue and see what this is all about. Oh, are you... It, it also occurred to me that I never tried scanning most enemies in here. Oh, wait, uh, except that they are all organic, aren't they? Interesting. Oh. What? Oh, I, I guess I destroyed one of its segments? Is this a worm situation where I can defeat it? Or, you know, at least try to. But it's not actually necessary at all. I mean, I could just avoid it. Is that it? Nope. One more. Oh, I think it would be getting angrier, not just more scared. <laughs> I guess it's just running away from me at this point. Sorry, little buddy. Oh. Robopede complete. <gasps> Never mind, there's always a reason. And it was a, uh, a worm situation. Okay. Thanks. I need those. In fact, um... Hold on. I'm... Yeah, okay, I still only have two. I think I want to pro uh, focus on getting these uh, infection levels higher. Yeah, it seems... If those are required for progress in any kind of way, then obviously I want those ASAP. Okay, that brings me back here. Yeah, those are also... Everything in here is organic, so no hacking. Gotcha. Oh. Interesting. Can I hurt you? Maybe not, actually. Oh. You can hurt me, though. No surprise there. And don't think I could have gone anywhere else. But all the options. Uh... Oh, that's the thing. That's got to be some sort of jump upgrade, or climbing. Maybe it's an equivalent for uh, the drone. Hello? Eskiri. Your drone fires a hook! Oh, okay, that works, I guess. Uh, that can slingshot it over unreachable ledges. Oh, wow, that's actually going to be huge. Oh, god. Wait. Oh, interesting. Oh. Wow. Okay. That's just... It, it targets ledges automatically, too? I'm not aiming or anything. I'm just pressing the button here. That is so good. But I can hold up, wait. So if there is no ledge, I guess you can. Well, I mean, right here there is no ledge within reach, I suppose. So it just fires horizontally, or if I hold up, you can fire up. But, uh, oh, okay. I guess you, huh? Hmm, I'm um, interesting. <laughs> I mean, there is a maximum range, obviously. I'm holding the button now, and eventually you'll detach. Okay, I guess you can be right up to a wall, actually, and if the ledge is within reach, you'll pull yourself up. But this somehow doesn't work. Oh, okay, interesting. Well, okay, there could be some finickiness with it, but uh, overall it seems pretty good. Let's see, uh, this does not look very <laughs> trustworthy at all. What's up with this? Oh. Huh. Nothing, I guess? Hmm. So yeah, the biggest problem seems to be that you cannot actually do this in mid-air. Oh, except you can. Okay, weird. Again, maybe some finickiness might be included. Uh, is there something here? Nope, that's just a bad place to be. Oof. Huh. Okay, please. 
Yeah, why doesn't this work? Oh, and I died. Cool. But I still have the upgrade. Does this allow me to go back up, though, if I can't use this in mid-air <laughs> most of the time? That's kind of not intuitive to me. You, I mean, you grab the ledge, but... Oh, and then sometimes it works? <clears throat> okay, am I actually holding the button too long? Uh, maybe that's, that's all it was. Maybe I was just instinctively holding the button. But you're, you can only just, or you, you only need to tap it ever so lightly. Well, fair enough. Yeah, okay, maybe that's, wow, weird. <laughs> maybe that's weird. That's okay. I don't suppose... Oh. Oh, okay, that does work. Hmm. Kind of? It's a bit of a timing thing, though. You really can only tap the button super lightly. I don't, I'm not entirely sure why part of me instinctively wants to hold the button. I mean, I'm not even holding it, I'm just, you know, keeping it pressed for less than half a second or so, but you really have, have to let go immediately. That's what it feels like. Anyway, okay, hold on. So you have to be confident in your button press, I suppose. Um, what am I trying to do? I don't know what I was trying to achieve there. Oh, this is, wait. Oh, this is the other side of that. Okay, so we couldn't have gone there before. So, uh, yeah, where where do I want to go? I chose not to go down there. I could definitely, maybe, <laughs> definitely maybe do a little bit more climbing in this room. I could return the way I came. Um, oh yeah, there's supposed to be. This might be just for an upgrade, actually. Get out of here, Pillbug. Yeah, okay. We knew there was uh, a transition over this way into this little chamber. There might be more in the big room. There actually probably is. Oh, oh no, made it in here. That's fine. Uh, skills. I'm not, sh not sure why I'm not using that menu more. Uh, yes, actually. Right. And it seems like there is only three levels. I mean, it, that's a lot of points that I could spend elsewhere, but I feel like it's worth it. We have already seen a level 3 lock, right? I think that one that I'm thinking of uh, is... Where was that? Oh, was, I, I think that's actually down here. That might be it. I see that's a problem with, these, with this one type of marker. Um, I'm pretty sure, though, that that was one of those energy barriers with a, with a bright purple or magenta colored console control thingy. I don't suppose you can use this offensively. I guess I'm going this way now. Wait, was there... Just looked at the minimap. Oh, okay, that's not... I see, that's the save point that we were at. Uh, are you... Just a smaller version of those jumping flames, I guess? Okay. Hmm. Suspicious of every single wall, I see. Yeah, not a whole lot I can do, though. Even, there is, even if there is something there. Oh, you can be attacked, though. Maybe these jumping things can be attacked as well. Wait, you just shoot upwards, though, so you're really not that dangerous. And then I managed to actually jump into that stupid roly-poly. Nope. Thanks for a little bit of health. Okay, just oof. carefully time your attacks. Definitely works better than just spamming. Alright. Oh, there's nothing here. So this was all just the way back to the beginning. Oh no. Which means that I definitely missed something down here. And in fact, there might actually not be anything there. Oh, I, there's also apparently something up this way, which I didn't check out. Okay, you know, well, I mean, I guess we'll just be spending a little bit more time in here. Wait, I definitely haven't been up here. Okay. 
I see. Huh. Wait, in fact, I absolutely have not been up here. Oh, so that's the exit. Well, okay, fair enough. We can always enter again. And then, I, you know, worst case scenario, I'll just make my way back there. Okay, and that gets me up here, and that might actually... Oh, wrong button. That might actually open up all of the barriers around here. Allows me to leave this way. What else might there be? Well, we can't... Excuse me? Yeah, there we go. We can go up here, and from here we can... Oh, okay. Go up here behind the... Whatchamacallits? The ramparts? Oh, you're right, yeah. This is open now. Camera's panning a little bit. Um, oh, oh. Come on. We're trying to target that corner there for a second. Or that was just me pressing diagonally, actually. Interesting. So I guess because that's probably because it's uh, sloped, I cannot actually grab onto that. All right. So you don't have absolute freedom everywhere, which, you know, it's fair enough. Very nice. Okay, so basically, well, I mean, I haven't, I have yet to fully explore the, uh, the breach part, but I basically got what I wanted, as far as, um, as far as, you know, just uh, finishing this self-contained thing and gaining a pretty major upgrade, I feel, uh, is concerned, and I can now explore in all those directions that I wanted to explore. Uh, how do you do this? Okay. Let's see here. There was one thing. Yeah, okay, that's actually probably not anything important. But I, oh, in fact, I cannot actually grab onto that ledge. I see. So no getting up that way. Hmm. Nor with the drone, I think. Because the drone cannot, uh, cannot get up there. It's also sloped, but there are apparently things to the left of here. Well, let's focus on on this side of things. Up there didn't seem to be anything. The map also doesn't show that there's anything above, so we might be done there. We can't... Oh no, once again, we cannot actually <laughs> climb that wall. I was thinking of doing that, but... Oh, unless we can do this. Ooh. Am I being clever, or is this completely useless? Oh, oh! Huh. There. I automatically let go of the wall again. I'm, I'm gonna try just hanging here and see if I eventually fall. No. On normal walls, you never fall. I, I can even... Oh. I spoke too soon. I was pressing up. Okay, so you don't normally fall, but sometimes you just do. That is really weird. And can be extremely unfortunate if you're not ready for it. I guess no. And then I was trying to push against the wall again to re-grab, but that just didn't work. I guess I can constantly nope, nope. So once you let go, or once you fall off once, you're just falling forever. It seems like. Um, but I mean, it's not. Is that a certain point, a certain maximum height, or something? I I don't know. That makes no sense to me. Okay, well, I feel like a like an idiot now. That's uh, not an unfamiliar sensation. Um, now that I know it, it's very obvious, but I just never looked at that blue little bar that appears up by my other bars whenever I climb. So, uh, yeah, apparently you have a maximum grip meter. Is that, that's not something you can, can upgrade, is it? Physiology? Well, it's, it would be here, I suppose, but it's not, so... No? Maybe you... Gain upgrades to that later, because, uh, yeah, okay. But that answers that, and it also goes down more when you jump, so that explains why you cannot do this infinitely at all. Well, okay. I guess that's in order to prevent you from exactly from doing what I'm trying to do here, but okay. That answers that. Yeah. Uh, well, it's one of those things. Once you've, once you've seen it, it's impossible not to see, but... Um, I mean, it's, I don't know, when you're, I'm just, I was just so focused on my character, and I don't know, maybe I have a bit 
too much tunnel vision sometimes. Anyway, it's okay. Now I know it's not a bug, it's a feature, and it's... yeah. I'm surprised the game didn't mention it, like, I mean, most things are tutorialized pretty well. Anyway, let's focus on this here. Have we ever been... no. Like I said, little open space there is not something you can actually explore. Let's just try and speed through here and not get destroyed by these weird little floaty things. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, that's just a ceiling. I keep seeing those weird cloudy looking things and just thinking of them as clouds, I guess. But nope, they're actually solid. Way more solid than they look. Okay. Everything to the left of here seems to be just... the outside. Not reachable. Why am I killing things? I don't know. Killing is fun, I guess. Uh, let's see here. And uh, do I want to go over there? I don't think so. I mean, the map doesn't show anything. I think everything I want to go and take a look at is down this path. Yeah. The below here was just the one uh, upgrade point, was it? Oh, this is why I couldn't continue. I see. So somehow, I have to make my way around this. And there is no indication as to how I could reach the other side. So that's... Maybe that connects to some other breach area. Well, so there's something halfway up this way. Um, oh yeah, there is. I just never went in here. Right, more of those. Those explosions actually have a hurt box. Wow, and it lingers a little bit. That's cool. Uh, I'm, yeah. That is unfortunately... Uh, unfortunately, that's unfortunate. Especially because I did not actually save at that save point. I don't know why I did. I think I was thinking at the time that, you know, maybe if I don't end up finding anything here, I might not want to save there. Just reload to... I don't know. But I have to make it all the way through anyway to make it back out, so that was kind of stupid. Alright. Uh, I guess I have to deal with this one. A real way around it. Number of hits it takes is also kind of variable. I suppose it depends on whether you hit them with... Uh... Well, actually I'm not entirely sure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I thought I think it was seven hits for that one before, or something along those lines. So maybe that one's just different. Also, save. Actually, okay, let's try this again. Uh, why did I go up there? I guess that gives me access to the top layer of that room. Hmm, it's very possible that you need to go that route. Um. Oh, that's... Oof. Focus, please. Not even 20 minutes into the episode, and already my brain is showing signs of... Oh, okay. You absolutely can kill those. Why was I so, so convinced that they were unkillable before? Um, who knows? Just me, I guess. Just me thinks... Oh, hold on. Well, the game wants me to... Wants to get me up there. So you absolutely do not need to go the upper route entirely. Nope. Nope. I said nope. Nope means nope. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Can you ledge grab those? You absolutely can, of course. Hmm. Something. It might just be a pedestal just off screen there. Oh, hold on. Oh. Well, thanks for, this, for the preview to that full health upgrade, it looks like. I think that's a big one, not just a... Not just a hard piece, but a full hard container. Hmm. Well then, let's finally go down here and find out that this also leads to a dead end right away. Or does it? Well, not right away. 
How do you fight these things good? Well, I guess you can play it slowly. I guess they only take two cycles to kill. Um, well. Unless you get super impatient, like I tend to do sometimes. I don't know. Uh, another dead end. Well, in that case, uh, just kill me, I guess, and you know, take that death warp. Yeah, so there's a skill point on the other side of that. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna make my way out of here. I still can't suicide and go back that way, can I? Nope, not an option, unfortunately. Even It would be nice if I could somehow unlock the ability to just cancel out of the breach after you finish the section once, but how would the game keep track of that, necessarily? I don't know. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just pause real quick. Okay, finally back out of that place. Um, at least we've seen a few things to look forward to in the future. And, yeah, well... There, well, we have seen more, um, you know, signs of these areas being interconnected or connected to some other parts of the breach elsewhere. Well, apparently I cannot climb high enough or long enough to actually make it up there, although, I don't know, I can't help but feel like there's maybe some kind of way to do it. Maybe. But, uh, well, even if there is, there's also some sort of... Oh? Uh oh. Oh, that's how you have to get into that place. Interesting. Um, yeah, here. Oh. What did, I, what did I try, uh, what did I start talking about? Oh, that's the wrong button. That's not X. God, I'm playing so so many different, or I've, I've started playing so many different games recently on all kinds of different consoles, including, unfortunately, on Switch, which has, you know, Nintendo, be praised, has all the A, B, and X, Y buttons reverse, and that throws me off so much. So this is X here. My God. Um, so yeah, anyway, there, there, if there is something up there and it, the map seems to uh, indicate another, you know, room up there, perhaps. Something up there. Um, up that wall, I mean. Then there's probably some kind of upgrade, or definitely some kind of upgrade that will allow me to actually go there legitimately. Uh, so, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Um, Ansur. Uh, Ansur. To my brother Ludari. We have all heard of Ansur, the Spadix? Spadix? Spadix, from which the fruit of the world grows. Spadix, is that... Kind of tree or something. But have you ever thought of the meaning behind this decorative speech? Yesterday, when I was thought to be asleep, I overheard two umyas discussing what sounded like an like an apparent trip to Ansur, by which I mean they have traveled there and returned using a special machine. If Ansur were truly a holy place, do you think one could travel there by something so base as a machine? I'm telling you, brother, there is something they are not telling us. Is Ansur their name for our world? Perhaps? It is stupid for me to ask, but I suppose Mother has still not returned. Has she no love for her own children? Well-being to you, Elutil. Hmm. Okay. Spadix from which the fruit... Answer the spadix from which the fruit of the world grows. Or is answer the breach? Maybe. Oh. Huh. Who knows, actually. Here I can return, but... Oh. And this is just a, this place that I saw before. Okay. So no real reason to ever be up here, I guess. I will take another quick look over to the left side of this. Uh, actually, maybe it's not as quick as I would as I would like. Oh, uh, bye. Come on. Oh, just drop. Hmm. Well, I guess the map just shows that there's something theoretically on the on the other side of the of this wall, but not necessarily a way to actually go there. Right. Now that I actually know that the climb meter exists, that of course explains why I was falling. That makes a lot more sense now. Oh. And you also fall when you when you get hit with whatever scalding hot steam or something. Scalding, scalding. Whatever. I guess there's not really anything I can do there. So I'll just make my way out of here. Try not to get killed. I'm not doing a particularly great job, but, you know, good enough, I guess. 
So up here, we mainly get the ability for our little drone to climb. Hmm. Now, is that enough to help him get up there? Oh, well, maybe, actually. It seems to reach pretty far. Further in the real world than it does in the breach. Oh. Hmm. Maybe if he falls off... Oh, well, okay, there was... Never mind, there was actually a ledge above. Let's save here. Hmm. I think that that guy's in the way, unfortunately. Unfortunately for him. Oh, it. Whatever. Now it's seen me. But too late. Okay, so we can throw you, throw you over here, and you can absolutely go up there now. But should it also be possible? Maybe. I'm gonna try this. Yeah, that's what I thought. The question is, is there a console here? No, but we can do that. Okay, cool. That gives me access to something. Oh, wait. Okay, this actually only connects to where I put the marker. Uh, you know what? Before I go down, just in case there's something useful up there. That I didn't see from below. Just to see. I mean, why else would you would this allow me to traverse this terrain in this direction now? Oh. Huh. Yeah, okay, that only gets me to the other side. And there is this pedestal here, which in the past has signified an out uh, like uh, an exit, <laughs> that's the word. Um from the breach. Okay, and there is potentially an entrance, but um, kind of encased in solid rock. So, unless there is some kind of way in there, which doesn't appear to be the case, that does not seem super useful. Well, here we have one of these, which I think is going to be level 3. Oh, wait. We have level 3? Oh, we, because we start at level one. Oh, I completely forgot. Infection. Huh. Well, I mean, they're not labeled in any way. So I guess you start at level one, and this increases it to two, this to three, and this is to four. Well, that's good to know. Oh, and very useful. Thank you. I think I'm still going to increase it to four, because obviously if that's a thing you can unlock, then there are level four... Uh, requirements somewhere in the game, right? So, better re be ready for those. And I might be falling behind a little bit on, in terms of you know more combat and survival-related stuff, but I don't know. Might be worth it. This must also be somewhere I haven't been before. Wait, hold on. Okay, but it's not the ledge. Or is it actually? No, wait. Yes, maybe? Yes, this is actually the ledge I was thinking of, isn't it? No, it's not. Wait, hold on. Where am I? What am I doing here? Um, I think I can throw my drone up there, potentially. I don't think I can get up there myself. Oh, wait. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Close. And that's not useful. Hmm. I never went... Oh, wait, that's... Is that even here? Where was that? That new weapon? Um... Oh, where, where was that? I should recognize the area on the map. Somewhere over here... Oh, it's it's there, actually, yeah. Right in between these maps. I Well, obviously I never collected it, because I don't have it. So there are definitely still things to just explore with the drone, now that I have it. Hmm. Okay, what's that gonna open? Oh, also, once I fall down there, I won't be returning that way. 
Hmm. Got so many decisions to make. I guess the same is true here. Wait, I cannot even go th through there. So I guess I'll send my drone on a little expedition. Maybe it'll be able to do something useful. Huh. Stupid thing. Oh, wait, I have been here. Okay, I see. I mean, kind of. I see that I have been here. Right. Oh, okay, and that's going to open that and allow me access to some health, if I could make it there. Which I don't... Oh. Well, never mind. No, that's just where I was. Hmm. Well, I guess my drone is going on a little adventure here. In fact... Oh. That's going to work. Come on. Come on, game. I know you want to. Okay. <laughs> huh? Really? Tapping the button. Uh, I guess that's just ever so slightly out of reach. Oh, there we go. Okay. Not quite done, though. No, never mind. We are done. Okay, cool. So we have that. Right? <laughs> just make sure. While I'm up here, I suppose... Oh, that's a funny-looking <laughs> little seam in the terrain there. Is that intentional? Either way, I can't go up there, so... Who knows? Oh, no! Really? Oh, no. Well, let's try that again, I suppose. Can't grab this. <sighs> I can't press the wrong button, too. Well, I mean, I can actually just go there myself now. X button, my god. Right, it's also it also does not help that in the two games that I'm playing for YouTube, specifically the interact button, or pick up things button, uh, is reversed, right? Here it's X. And in uh, the other game, Morbid, it's Y. So, yeah. Too bad there is not quite as much standardization in these things as you might, uh, might wish for. Okay. Oh, you can grab this. I mean, it only helps so much. In fact, this is the hard jump. That seems kind of unintentional. But we know it's doable. So it has to be a full height jump? Yeah, okay. Max height jump, basically. And I have to make sure to only tap the buttons, tap the button a little bit, and then, I don't know why that didn't work. I'm gonna recall up here, actually. This is gonna work eventually. Okay, well, maybe I'm getting the hang of that one, or I might just be lucky. You can definitely do this, so... Okay. In fact, yeah, I had already made it up here. There we go. Whew! Okay. Nice. Another upgrade. Possibly a little bit early, I don't know. Not sure if that first jump is intentional, or if I just, uh, you know, exploited my way there, but, you know, no big deal, obviously. No major skip or anything. Um, yeah, I guess one more point, right? And then we're going to be done with this. What was this? Nano points? Uh, I mean, yeah, useful, I suppose. Expansion speed, eh, not that useful. Infection range, that could absolutely help with just hacking things in general and also potentially grant me access to things that are otherwise out of reach, as in, uh, as far as opening mechanisms go. Drone, yeah, I don't know. Have I increased these? Wait. The difference between uh, purchased and only available is not that great, <laughs> unless you have them side by side. But no, these are these I did not buy because yeah, drone combat. I mean, sure, it's a thing. We have to fight things as a drone, I guess, but it doesn't seem to be that big of a deal most of the time. Okay, and that's this ledge, and that's not actually anything special. We just never went through there. What actually happens... Hold on. Um, map, please. But we're above... Oh, okay. I see. Well, no, this is not where I want to be then. Don't shoot me! I'm just a drone. I'm harmless. One thing I'm not sure I tried before... Um... I definitely did not see that little cute exploration vehicle. What the hell are you? 
you're gone. That's what you're... Oh, there you are. You are an enemy. I'm pressing the wrong button here. Apinla. Overclock or slow? Moves or attacks faster? Why would I want that? What the hell are you? A tiny little Mars rover. Or, you know, just rover type robot. Weird. Anyway, that's not what I meant to do. What? Are you okay? Pop, I feel like crap. Oh no. Uh, better keep your distance. Um, that's not good. Do we know about any infectious diseases around here? Or was she attacked? She, I don't know. Can tell if she's sick or hurt. Um. Either way, it's bad, of course. Game saved. Now, I mean, I saved the game here. Oh, but probably it, it probably saved me as a drone. I don't know. I was thinking of, you know, doing this, going back to the menu, back to title. No, I see. Actually, never mind. Wait. Hold on. What happens when I do this now? Oh? I mean, it sa saved me as her, but it puts me at the save point. Nice. Okay. So that does work the way I, I was hoping. Um, I don't suppose. Pop, I feel like crap. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Better keep your distance. No different dialogue there. But let's actually, oh, well, pick up this lore and interact with the Ansible. And that's where I'm going to end for this episode. Uh, so that I can at least say that I made some story progress as well. A letter from Trace. Oh, wait, Trace? Trace is the name of the protagonist from the first game. Maybe that's our connection between the games? Or just uh, a coincidence. Hammond. Re the potentially infinite number of worlds. My current hypothesis hypothesis is that they are filtered by a kind of tree-like hierarchy, being narrowed and specific at the ends and broad at the root. But of course, in order for this to work, the filters themselves are also worlds in the tree, downstream of even more filters, recursively. Here's a brain teaser for you. If the filter fails somehow, do the worlds it filtered cease to exist? So if the branch breaks off, basically, or something? Read your idea of the uh, about the afterlife. I think we could actually get proof one way or the other, but the person doing the experiment would need to be dead and have studied all our research for it to work. Oh, okay. So this takes place before the first game, and Trace was eventually sent, willingly or unwillingly, and that's the first game then. His exploration of the afterlife. I don't remember the actual story parts of it. Like, I know there were there was some dialogue, and the the final encounter had some. Some build up throughout the game, but I don't really remember the actual ending. It, I, I only remember mostly that the game just starts with you waking up in this weird alien world, um, in a kind of a similar fashion as uh, as Indra does when she respawns, or you know, basically he's he's being re uh, recreated from a, from from nanoparticles or something like that. Um, his body is being recreated and his mind restored, basically. That's how the respawning works and is in plain in, uh, explained in universe. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, I hope to talk more about this later. I'm um, in a bit of a hurry. So, yeah, I don't know. Did he volunteer or did Hammond volunteer him <laughs> to do the to be the explorer? Hmm. But yeah, that seems to be the uh, connection there. Huh. We need permissions to control data throttling. Is this Samara? Username is Ahamond. Oh. Samara depends on you. What? Sam Samara? Samara? Depends on you? Who Who or what is Samara? Elizabeth Hammond. WTF. <laughs> WTF. Yeah, I mean... No data left. Next terminal at Kazakh base. Hmm. Sector 24. 22. Right. Damn it. I should have known Hammond was behind the whole thing. So she's alive after all. What the hell does she want? Root access? Is she so incompetent she can't even do that on her own? Mm, I mean, we'll find out, I guess, what she wants. Oh, wait. Uh, gonna have to get out of here to look at the map. See where exactly the Kazakh base is. Oops, nope. Sorry, don't mind me. Huh. What is this all about now? Should I... Do I need to be? Do I need to worry about the NPCs at the other base? Oh, okay. So it is below here. 
Hmm. Would any of my current upgrades help me get there at all? I don't think so. I don't remember what was blocking me here, actually. Yeah, that's a problem. I think this is uh, one of those room transition tubes um, that connects to below, but there is a switch on the other side of a barrier, so I'm gonna have to open that from below. I think this was a similar situation, but I'm not entirely sure what kind of barrier was blocking me here, so... Is that the way, or do I have to go down from here? Obviously I have, well, not even looked past the base on the on the ground level or close to ground level, so there might be all kinds of ways down from here. And there's also still this up here to, to explore. I'm, I mean, I've, I've looked around pretty thoroughly around uh, the, this little fortress area. Pretty confident that I can't do anything more there for the time being. Uh, in fact, that has been resolved. I think, yeah, I just opened that. <sighs> or did I? Wait, now I don't know. Did I actually explore that portal? Oh, that's the one inside the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear, sometimes my memory works with a, you know, some delay sometimes. Huh. Okay, well, I mean, we're definitely far from out of places to explore and directions to explore. In fact, uh, we opened up this, this path, which I guess, uh, looking at the map here, is pretty likely, a pretty likely candidate for actually getting us to that base. Um, considering how it required the upgrades we most recently found, so that's probably the way to go. But yeah, next time, definitely going to take another look up here. There's certainly something I could have checked out and didn't. Uh, and then I think I can go up over there. There might even be a way to maybe open this? Although I guess this opens from below, huh? You see the, uh, the power line going down there. Well, there's certainly something I can go, uh, somewhere I can go, some some path I can take that way. So, uh, yeah, we'll do that next time. Um, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.